talk about logical operators. What logical operators are? So we will talk about logical operators. There are few logical operators and or node XOR and are, these are some most commonly used logical operators. There may be some more logical operators but these are mostly used. So far we have used relational operators along with if else statement to mimic a decision making process. In most of the real world application we may need, we may need to check more than one condition. So let me give you a very simple example. Like John would go to swimming pool if tomorrow is Saturday and temperature is above 18 degree centigrade. So in order to go to John to swimming pool, two conditions have to be satisfied with the same. So you can use here and logic. Somewhere you need OR, NOR, XOR logical operator. So logical operators used to connect relational operators. So you need logical operators to connect and check multiple relational arguments in a specific ways. It could be all of these conditions. It has to be satisfied and as at the same time. Therefore, you may use and or or any of the logical operator. You may use one of the condition to be satisfied or any of the condition to be satisfied there. You have to maybe you can use any of the logical operator and any of the conditional operator which we have seen in last demo. So now we are going to use combinedly both and we will write a program to this is a problem to record the age of visitor and allows him to an exclusive children's day party hosted by Mr. X, Y, Z only if he or she is above 55 years of age years 55 years or or below 18 years so there is a party hosted by mr xyz but the condition is there that that either should be age should be more than 55 or less than 18 he or she is the is like this so we have to write a program for visitors. Anyone is a uh, visitor is allowed, but he has he or she has to enter his age. And if age is more than 55 or less than 18, he or she can enter in the party. Otherwise, he can't do. So for this, I have to write a program. For that, hum, we have used earlier even for taking input X. So there is a we use input function for this so input earlier we have even done same thing what's your age what's your mobile number by with the help of input function so we are using input function and inside this function we are asking enter 
your age so enter your age so it will be a string so to change a string into integer we will just use int function and x is equal to int input enter your age how to enter your age there are certain conditions if x is greater than or equal to 18 or x is less than or equal to 55 then he or she can enter in the party we talked about this so if x is now after putting this semicolon if i will do print i already told you it will come under this if condition so print welcome to party else print sorry you do not fit in the age criteria see all these conditions we have put it here we have to take input from user and if age is this then welcome to party otherwise he is he or she is not welcome to the party so if we are going to run this ask for age what is the age you want to enter if age is less than 18 or greater than 55 then you are welcome to the parties so i am entering the age is 16 so welcome to party we can see for some other values too if you want to see you can give in the program and it will ask you for again for age so this is a situation where you are using combining uh, relational or logical operation both we are using here if else condition and we are using here we are taking input here or and we are using or operator here we can use or nor xor depending upon the condition what type of condition we can we want to show now we are going to our next problem that is write a program which offers various discounts based on purchase bills so we will write here a program and there will be a discount offer on different conditions we will see how let's say shopping total or bill total shopping total we are assigning the value 520 now we will put if else on nested if condition if I am saying shopping total is greater than equal to 500 then print you want a discount voucher of flat 100 rupees 
on next purchase. on next purchase this is first one condition now we will have more than one condition so we will use else if else if if shopping total is greater than or equal to 250 you will have a discount of flat 50% on next purchase so i will copy the same Similarly, I am here. If we have third one condition and third is the last condition, then we will use else. Else. So it's not last condition. It's third one condition. So if shopping total. is greater than or equal to 100 then print you want a discount of flat 10 rupees on your next purchase so these are three conditions if shopping total is greater than 500 then print this otherwise if greater than 250 you will have a, a flat discount of 50 rupees if less than or equal to 100 if then it will be 10 rupees greater than or equal to 100 so these are three condition otherwise you won't have any discount If less than 100, you won't have any discount. So here we already uh, put a condition shopping total. A variable is having the value 520 so if I'm going to run this program what it will be obviously if greater than 500 then it will have a flat hundred discount on next purchase let's say I am doing it 400 then what will be the output of program yes Let's say I am having is 50. So this is how this program will work. I hope you got the point and we have covered various conditions in this demo. We have covered if else nested if we have covered or operator and if else nested condition so in as we have used or condition or operator here we can even use node xor and note operator in the similar way in python programming so please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching my video